So here we have it. Let's open this thing. This seems very nice. So we, oh, and this bent a little bit. Oops, cut a clear one in accident, so I'm including it for free. Thanks. So I got both the frosted and the clear bottom. How nice is that? At least, um, you know, this makes things a little more equal now that I don't have the, um, the 1.75 U shift, right? Bad karma, good karma. That's basically life. All right, so this looks very, very nice. Let me actually switch to the action cam focus so we can take a look at this case. Look at this. It looks really good. One thing I need to research is if it's possible to add no, different seller. I bought this from the Strata, Strata keyboards um, here. I can show you. Give me one sec. Oh, you know it? Okay, got it. So you, you're, you're familiar with this. All right, not even gonna bother then. Okay, so I have this minivan here uh, on this wood case and our print just finished. I'll bring it in a second. Uh, but what I'll do, um, when I built this, I did a special thing, which is I made it um, hot swappable. So it's not hard to learn, Sind, to do CAD drawings. I plan. I still plan on designing a case on stream soon, so maybe if you follow that, you'll be able to see it. How how easy it is. So here's what I'll do. I'll try to take out all the switches, and then we can try this PCB on the minivan acrylic case that we have here. Maybe we can try pulling the plate. Let's see. No, still a few switches don't want to come out. And one thing to realize here is this thing is top mount, right? So if you put, uh, when you put the switches on, the hot swappable, if you take out the switches, the PCB is just gonna fall down. So it's not the best design, but I bought a, a, a new um, minivan PCB and I'm gonna bring it from US when I come back so I can you know, do this the proper way. But for testing purposes, I think we're gonna be good with what I have. I, I'm telling you, I knew nothing about um, CAD drawings a couple of months ago. And I watched someone doing it on a stream. And then I decided to try it for myself. Fusion 360 is really easy to understand. To do basic stuff. We, we, we'll have to design those pins. So we will do a little bit of Fusion 360. Oh, and one thing I'm realizing now, mm, that's gonna be a big, big problem, is that this doesn't support plate mount steps. And this PCB doesn't allow PCB mount steps. So I need to find, oh, that's, 
I actually do have, yeah, mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll need to desolder my mini. I don't know. I need to find a minivan PCB that supports um, plate mount or PCB mount. I can, for those key sizes or key cap sizes, I can leave without the, the stabs, but it's never a good thing, right? Let me show you guys something I did recently. I printed this thing. Let me move to the action cam so you guys will be able to see it better. I printed this thing, which is like a small trawler. And there's a religion thing here. Um, so here's how I organize my screws now. And I also have stabs on the second trawler and some Pro micros and whatnot and here I'm gonna put the springs uh, I only have two now but I have a ton on my drawer that I need to put here so this is a nice organization piece and I was going to put away this um, screw which I think is a, an M2 5 yes and this is an M2 4 This is another M25, I think. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys this. <laughs> Sorry for the camera movement. Let me go back here. Yeah, I, I really like the, that as an organization piece. Okay, time to play with the new case. Do you guys know if it's possible to add underglow to the minivan? Never heard anything about it. But I mean, it has the same controller as the other boards, right? The AT Mega. So I would assume it's possible. And we're going to do the frosted bottom because I like the frost bottom. So let me take this out. And then we have the plate. Oh, there are more screws on the bottom. Polycarb Singa, what's the price? I'm looking for one. Oh, I think this guy has been trying to sell it for... 540, no. No, 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 no. No, sir. Thank you. Euro. Oh, get out of here. All right, so this is the top. Oh, yeah, I was unscrewing the bottom. Oh, it's dollars. Yeah, I thought it was dollars. But regardless, too much. So 
we're going to take this out. I'm going to set this one aside. Always, I hate that it, this thing falls when you, yeah. I think 380 or something like that, that was the price, or 300. Ask Arctic Fox on our Slack if you can admit he always knows. Now it's time for for, for some ASMR. Okay, let's see what this the correct position is like this. Yep, so let's reinsert those brass standoffs. Oh, and figure it's better if I give you guys a zoom in, right? So you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Are you stupid or what? There we go. So now But I think it was like 300, 350 tops for the polycarb version. Oops. Honeycomb macro pad. Oh, I, I saw that earlier today. This guy, right? Yeah. The only thing I like a lot is this knob, uh, the rotary encoder. But I bought one of those as an add-on for my plank. And I don't know how that's gonna work, but I think it's exciting. And I like the fact that, of course, it's wireless. So that's another plus. But I don't think I've joined that one. Are you joining it? 
send. Yeah, but the fact that it's wireless, right? That's a that's a good idea. Okay, so this is the new bottom. I think it looks great. I like the the frosted on the bottom. What do you guys think? I'm gonna peel this guy, which is the top layer. This is a very unique purple, transparent purple that I ordered. I'm glad you're joining, Sind. Oh, really? So it's uh, it's tricky to print. You guys want to take a look at the? Oh, and I just realized I'm too zoomed in. Now. Sorry about that. So let's see here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a very dark purple. I think it looks really good. All right, let's set this guy aside. And let's assemble this piece. Let's see if we can do a good job even with this foam in the middle. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's possible. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit more like that. Do you like the case? Yeah, I really enjoyed this. Turned out even better than I expected. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to make sure that the switch is at the right position. There we go. And for this, if you're trying to use a top mount uh, case with a PCB that is hot swappable like this, I think you have to use PCB mount switches, otherwise it's gonna keep falling. And by the way, those are lubed uh, retooled blacks. I think I have 65 gram springs. And the lube I used on this guys are 204, 70% uh, and then, sorry, 50% 204, 50% 104. Fry talks. This switch legs a little bit twisted, so I think that's why it's not going in.
I have an order for 105, 205 mix 37. Yeah, I want to try that. I don't have 105 though. I'll see if I can order some 205 and 105 this time around, even if it's not grade zero. So I can do that mix. But 104 um, and 204 is really good as well. I have been using that a lot lately. Oh, 106. Never even heard about 106. Where did you order it from, Sint? Oh, interesting. Let's see. <laughs> Which one is it? Is this this one here? Customization, yeah, that's that's the one I thought. Let's see. up here so give me a second because I managed to pull out all the switches sorry guys give me one second let me do this let's see if I can snap them on the plate but I think that's a bad idea let's see Did you receive that yet or not yet? Yeah, I'm going to have to start from scratch. How nice is that? I'm gonna come back to the loop as soon as I finish this. I just realized I can't do those many things all at the same time. Thought I could. Wow, this is harder than I would have thought. It's a ton easier to just solder your switches. Early November, okay. I'm gonna try to get some as well, if they have still available. I don't know why some switches are harder than the others to put on.
back? I don't know what happened. I just realized the chat here is also messed up. Can you guys hear me? Are we back? Oh, cool. Sorry about that. Not sure what happened. One of those flukes that my internet has from time to time. So it's still open. You can still order extras. Is that is that how it is right now? Cool. I'll definitely order some. Thank you for letting us know about it. Sharing is caring. There you go. I believe in that. Oh, and I just realized this thing here doesn't have the right. Oh, I hope I didn't. Oh, there you go. So I have one that is not PCB mount that goes right here. It doesn't have the PCB hole on this switch it's just that one and i was trying to understand what the problem was being and i forgot about that all along And we are almost done here. I know this is very, very tedious. We're getting, getting there.
We're on the final stretch. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Hey, Mr. Keeps a random question. I'm thinking about getting the EPBT black and white from KBD fans, but I'm, sure, I'm not sure about the finish. The renders were super nice, but the product photos wasn't that great. Uh, let me show you and I can take any questions that you may have for the set, but I think it's very worth um, the price. So you can take your own conclusions here. Let me actually let, um, let's go here. So I love the legends. I think they look great. Um, people were talking about leaking and other stuff but I think the only things I may not love is how the those sub legends turned out but other than that I think it looks pretty good I don't have major complaints about this set at all and of course PPT always sounds super good Yeah, I also think it looks really, really good. Should be like this. I just need an underglow for my minivan. Yeah, I think you should get it. I think for the price, it's one of the best you know, cost benefits that you get. They're even coming out with a, Gawk is even coming out with a second set soon. It's gonna look amazing as well. Yeah, I think you should get it, definitely. It's about the same color. It's a different tone of white, I think, but it's black and white. I can, I can uh, put it on the screen in a second. Let me just finish screwing those guys. Yeah, the new set is, I think, about the same colors. And I think this key set is not gonna be a good one for this color, but I don't have any other sets ready, readily available. So I'm gonna go with this for now and you forgive me, it's not, it's not a very great color combo. Oof, this sounds so good. Oh, and I forgot to put the, the feet, but we can do it after. Yes, Retooled Blacks with a mix of 104 and 204. Hey Wix, what's up man? Thank you for joining. We were just talking about you the um, sooner, about your numpad, your massive numpad. The 
the big ass numpad, that one. I was quite surprised when I printed it of how big it is. Yeah, more or less, <laughs> not for this, uh, for this kit. I have to improvise. You see, I not, don't even know where the keys are supposed to go. Um, where's my key puller here? I have all the keys for a minivan on the on my other minivan, the, this guy, for the Naut Nautilus. Like this is a complete minivan. No, what? Oh, sorry, this this is in control actually. You see here, it's supposed to be backspace, but I have control here. So I don't think this is here. Anyone loot box switches before? Any advice other than don't use them? <laughs> uh, I have I have looped um, box royals. It's just I just did the same thing. As with MX. All right, even though this is not a good color combo, I think it still looks good since this reminds me of a black. It's a very dark purple, right? Um, let's do a quick typing test. But before we do that, let's put the feet on.
I got the case from Strata Keyboards, Jollymon. And I just received it. Do you know Jolly Moon? StratakB.com. Yeah, so I got he was he started to sell uh, he does awesome work. Like, I love everything that he does. And so he opened up this minivan, acrylic cases, sales, and I jumped at it. I'm even thinking about getting um, maybe a pearl or a an iris kit, not a kit, a case, an acrylic case from him. Oh, and I forgot, I still have one more thing to unbox from him. All right, now we should have a good typing angle, yeah. Let's do a quick typing test, hold on. Oh yeah, I saw I saw you you're talking about it the other day. Which one did you get? Was the the same one that the top clack guy has? Yeah, cry talk is super expensive. Where's my other cable? Now my next hacking um, challenge is gonna be how to add underglow to minivan. Okay, let me bring up. Uh, oh, and I still did it backwards, hold on. And Weeks, what I need to do is try to print a an adapter that allows me to do a plate mount here. I'm gonna do that as a next challenge. All right, let's see how this thing sounds.
There we go. Oh yeah, those tests are are not the uh, easiest to follow. I had I had my challenges here as well, and uh, using you know coma and one thing that we do in Brazil is that uh, the um, let me show you. Let's see, so if I do um, if I type um, quote, uh, it's still not a full character, right? It's still waiting for another character. So in order to do quote, I need to do quote and then space. Then it becomes a quote. Because if I do quote, oh, sorry. If I do quote, if I do quote and I put A, for instance, we have this uh, accented A and whatnot. So this is really hard. Oh, yeah, let me, let's take the opportunity and talk about a little bit about my 40% layout. People are, is always asking about this. And people say, oh, I won't be able to use it because it's too hard. Let me talk about that a little bit. Give me one second. Let me open an editor here. And then I'll show you how I managed to still make it work fine. <laughs> I just read what you said, Wix, really. <laughs> so let me go and hold on. Here, I have a, an editor here. Let me make it a little bigger. All right, so let me talk about the layout and how I do uh, things on this 40%, right? So the basic um, concept here is that this key over here, this left side of the split space is my extended character layer, right? Um, so for instance, you may be thinking, where is your, uh, your quote, right? My quote, it used to live here, right? On a regular keyboard. So what I do, I, I click my extended key set and then I press this key here and then I get a quote. Let me make it even bigger. And then I get a quote, right? Um, other things like where is your um, minus and plus? So minus is here, plus is here, right? Equals uh, and underscore. They are here. They are supposed to be here, right? So I move them a little bit down here. Uh, for things that I need, for instance, for programming, um, where is your um, your square bracket, right? Here we have this angle bracket, bracket. but if I need the square bracket, I need I just press the extended and then I get it. Um, so this is the general concept of the layers I use on my 40%. I try to keep them as close as possible to the original the shifted keys as well. Uh, let me see what else. And then I here, uh, when I press enter, it's enter. But if I hold enter, I get my function layer. And then I can do things like mute, um, make my, my screen brighter or darker and things like that. Usually I have this row for underglow if the keyboard supports underglow, not the case with this one. So this is how I usually do it. All right, um, any other questions before we unbox the next thing? I'll put this here. And I have this second package from Jollymon, which is not as cool, but it's still something I was really looking forward to experimenting with. So I got a 60% um, I think it's this way. No, this way. Yeah, yeah this is a 60% acrylic um, plate. I think from the thickness here, it should be what? Three to four millimeters. I think three millimeters. I can measure it. 
because I don't remember what I ordered. Let's see. Yeah, it's three millimeters. You see? I think I'm getting good at eyeballing <laughs> those measurements. Yes, you can program on key to single tap, double tap, and tap and hold. Yeah, not tap and hold, I don't know. I think so. I think so. I don't use that a whole lot. What I use is hold for one thing and tap for other thing, like I did with the uh, enter, but you can definitely do that. So cry talks, if you if you if you mix the same numbers like 104 with 204, you should be good. Um, and the separation is not that there's not a lot of separation. So I don't think you need to worry about that. Exactly. That's really out of proportion because if you realize what Cry Crytox is made of for, uh, it's made for, it's made for like huge ass um, gears and machines. So imagine if the oil would separate, right? Even at high temperatures and things like that. So I think you're good with mixing them and don't believe people too much. What I'll do, um, is maybe six months from now, I'm gonna open some of my switches and take a look how separated they are. But I doubt they're gonna be separated. And I'll tell you guys one thing right away. I'm not gonna do both sides of this because I don't wanna waste everybody everybody's time. Yes, true. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, are they talking from experience or are they talking because they think that's how it is? That's another thing, right? Did they, they really experiment with leaving both uh, Crytox mixed on a switch and then open them? And so until someone shows me a picture that it's really horrible, horribly separated, I'm skeptical. But, um, my promise stands. I will go back, you know, after some time and take a look at the switches. Oh, this is way worse than I thought it would be. Oh, and did you guys see yesterday that Huey left Top Clack? That was crazy. You didn't see that, Wix? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he dropped the bomb at the end. That was the announcement that they had. Boom, boom, pow. <laughs> Don't mind this idiot bot, okay? Oh yeah. But did you guys see what Mastrop did with the Rama pad, like the M6A or M6B, I don't remember. They, that's unacceptable what they did to their product. I don't know if you guys saw that. But they, they messed up the colors like badly. The thing looks even, yeah, even the anodizing is terrible. Did you see that comparison that where they had like the rendering next to the finished product? 
I cringed when I saw that, like, really. And the guy was on the taxi was like, oh, it doesn't look that bad. You're going to see the picture. And then at the end, there's the picture. Yeah, the same with control keyboards. You see the rendering and they're kind of nice and a nice tone. And then with the product you receive is another thing altogether. How bad is that? Yeah, it's not like a minor mismatch, right? And I finally managed to do this. So this is the plate and I'm probably gonna do a 60% build with them. Oh, on a separate note, I also got this people, this guy here, hold on, let me throw this away. I actually got this acrylic plate from KBD Fans. And I must say it looks it looks okay. It doesn't look that bad. And I'm also gonna play with it um, on a future build. This one did I say acrylic? Old people, right? This is polycarbonate. This one is acrylic. Sorry about that. So yeah, polycarb and acrylic. Two new plates to experiment with. All right, and uh, last but not least, let's take a look at the printer. And I already saw that we had one of the things that didn't print so well. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me, let me bring it. Oh, flex it for us. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. So this thing didn't print too good. Uh, this one did. I mean, yeah, we need, we need details here. Hold on. So let me show you this. Uh, so this piece here, um, which I'm assuming is one of the pieces did okay. This one here had a lot of string. I never had like bad results like this. I don't know why I got this, so I need to reprint that. And this thing didn't print all the way to the bottom. So let's take a look at the slicer again to see if I did anything wrong. Yeah, it has a very thin wall at the top. I don't know why, but um, I'll have to reprint this guy. That looks terrible. I survived this nap, yeah. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's the orientation that I printed and made it look so terrible, but this are, this are, is something we were looking into to open um, box switches. And what we can try to do is use one of the legs here. Let me see if I can And I, yeah, so it, it works. It works even as a standalone tool. Let's see this side. Yeah, this, the second side is always harder and it's not doing a great job with this guy, which what I would rather do is, is use this guy that works nicely, the switch cracker. Or at least it used to. <laughs> yeah, it's not working for this particular switch. And I may have the wrong one. I know I have two and one of them is better than the other. I think this one is better. Let's see. Nope, also not helping. Yeah, in the end, what I end up doing is always using this guy. This guy is perfect. Look at this. Um, no focus. Yeah. Look at this. So I, oops, I close it back. So I do it like this, and then I do it like this. Turn it all the way around, and then bam, it's open. So that's the tool I always use for box switches. 
Alrighty, my friends. Any anything else you guys want to see or talk about before we wrap this up? The 3D print wasn't a huge success, so I'm gonna probably redo it. I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah, exacto knife is another good idea, for sure. Anything else, guys? So what I wanted to say is that I'm traveling um, tomorrow, actually, and I will be out for about a month. And during that time, I will try to stream if I get like crazy stuff uh, that I buy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I already did. But let's do that. Let's take a quick tour into Wix Creations. So... I'm going to do the crazy big ass numpad first. Let's zoom in here. Look at this. Look at this side profile, this top. This is very cool. Look at the front. Yeah, it, it even sounds good. So this is the first one, let's put it here. And then of course, we have the main attraction, which is this guy, right? The, and this is, this turned out amazing. Let me do a quick typing test here. Let me also see if my standard, I think so. Let's see. Oh yeah, S Serica is in US still. I'm gonna unbox it there probably. And it's surprisingly easy to get used to. <laughs> Do you like it? Admit, this is all Wix, Wix Designs stuff. I, I was just the printer. But it, do, it does look amazing, right? Yeah, this is a poor man's TGR Alice. And I still need to also hand wire this guy. I didn't, and I, this, this was printed with the wrong filament. I, I ran out of this. So you can see that this is a perfect match and this left side is uh, lighter. The bottom is lighter. <laughs> I'm still going to reprint, reprint that. And Wix was telling me that this is the right position, right? Nobody needs to know that. And I, I even put on steps here, I think. And let me uh, show them the, the plate. Yeah, this bottom is a little, little rough as well. The supports didn't, I didn't have the patience to take out all the supports properly yet. This is really tight.
Yeah, I, I kind of like plastic cases, to be quite frank. using long ass screws here. So that's why it's taking so long to be clean. There we go. So this is the plate. It's like a five millimeters plastic plate, which is pretty cool, right? And this is officially a top mount, not an integrated mount. Yeah, I think foam would definitely help, but the problem with this particular case is that it's not very hollow. You see, it's like a huge block of plastic. So I don't know if we could even fit a foam here. You would probably have to cut out the case if you're printing it. And uh, Wix, one thing we can do is see how well the Pro Micro fits here. I think it fits really well. What do you think? But one thing I think is gonna be a problem is fitting the cable in here. Uh, do I have a cable handy? I don't think I have a mini, but I can show you with, uh... oh wait, it does, it does fit. Yeah, I think it's the minor. It's a minor issue. But it fits perfectly. Both ways. Yeah, usually people do it like this, right? If, we want, if you're using a PCB, it's always like this. That's why I did it that way. But nothing, nothing against using it this way as well. But it's pretty good, pretty good indeed, indeed. All right, my friends, any, anything else before we wrap up now? Speak now or be quiet forever or whatever that is. Yeah, always have to, you, you always keep me busy, right? <laughs> no, but in that, for that matter, uh, my that fifty percent project uh, is already being uh, the prototype is being built as we speak, and the PCB design should be ready tonight, and I think we're gonna order it next um, next Monday. What do you mean you was filling in a form and missed the plate? Mm -hmm. Filling a form for what? Yes, the Happy Fuse. And I'm actually doing a prototype both for the Happy Fuse and the Mini 1800. Oh no, I'm, I'm closing it. Oh, you missed the plate? Sorry, man, I'm just closing it. Otherwise, I would go back and show you. But uh, I'll show you the VOD uh, when we talk about it. Is that okay? Can you forgive me to not, for not opening it again? It's just a pain in the ass.
to open and close. Okay, sorry. Too lazy to do that. All right, my friends. Do you guys have anything else? All right, so I, I am like, uh, I'm not 100% yet, which sucks. I can't stand being sick anymore, but um, I guess it's a process, right? And I have to be patient, but I'm, I'm feeling better. My voice is not, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not the regular one. Oh, Modern Dasher. I like the keyboard, but I don't think I'm joining. Are you joining it? I think it's very unique. Are you guys joining it? Planning on joining it? Oh yeah, and uh, just something um, we're doing, uh, the Brazilian community, let me give you guys, um, oh, bigger keyboards. Yeah, I know you like TKLs. I wish I liked TKLs. Let me show you guys what we're doing. Um, we are trying to create a very low budget, 60% um, PCB with the, not this layout. This is like just a very simple case that we plan on offering with the, it's a kind of a tofu clone that we're thinking about doing. But the good thing is the PCB that we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be a fixed layout PCB and plate. And we're gonna do a group by very soon as well. Um, so it's gonna be a 60% with the uh, um, win key less bottom, um, but it's gonna be win, win key. Uh, so the t t t I never know how to say it, Sen Gan bottom and it's going to have split right shift and split backspace by default and no alternative layouts so and it's going to be pretty cheap as well Sengen, yeah whatever <laughs> so that's also happening pretty soon um probably as soon as i come back we're going to start receiving the prototypes and everything but yeah um just wanted to also say that all right guys um I'll see you guys on Discord mostly, and I'll try to stream if I get anything worth streaming for um, while I'm traveling. But other than that, I'll catch you guys on Discord and, of course, on streams as well, right? All right, guys. You guys have a good afternoon. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you, Sind. See you guys on Discord. Bye-bye.